Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm a senior at Blue Valley North High School. I think second semester is uh, just as stressful as first semester, but in kind of a different way. So in first semester, it's just like you have a lot of stuff to do. You have a lot of applications to write and you're like still trying to get your grades up and you're still like in the middle of all these extracurriculars. And I feel like in second semester, you're still trying to get your grades up and like do your extracurriculars or whatever, but you don't have any more applications to do. For me, second semester, because it, like to be honest, it doesn't matter as much grade wise. So then it's just like, I'm just trying my best to learn or whatever. Like I'm just gonna try my best instead of really focusing on some numbers that like are supposed to kind of paint a picture of who I am to some college admission officers, if you get what I mean. I do already know where I'm going to college. I'm going to K-State next, uh, for the next four years. So yeah, this semester is definitely important to me, even though I have about like five classes throughout my day that are filler to a lot of people. I get to still see my friends and spend time with them before we all graduate. So that's, it's really important for me in that sense. The senioritis for me definitely kicked in. It kicked in, I mean, it kicked in maybe September once I realized that I couldn't do everything I was wanting to do senior year, like continue every little thing that I've been doing all four years. And I realized, wow, I've already applied to some of these colleges. I put down that, you know, I've been in, track for three years and cross country and all these other things but I have this record of doing stuff in the past so I can like now let myself get a well-deserved break. I think that when you start being productive it's a lot easier to continue being productive so my biggest tip is like figuring out something that requires like a good amount of brain power but maybe not like academic like for example i'll like clean my room or i'll like practice violin something productive and you might like have like a little bit of brain power behind it so like for example when i clean my room i think about like my next schedule like i think about oh this is these are the things i'm going to do next and then after i finish that i feel productive i just clean my room everything is nice it's gonna be a great time i go to my desk which is in my room so i get to like bathe in my successes and my achievements of cleaning my room and then I just kind of like do my homework whatever after you finish like the mentally stimulating thing like make sure you have a goal that you're working towards so like for me like if violin if it's like I'm playing violin or something and I get like a certain passage like just how I want it to then it's like okay for me to stop because I feel like I've been productive and like my brain is like going now so then after that it's very easy to like do homework or like study for a test or something like that. I work on weekends and so I'm working all weekend and then I'm going to school all week so it's really like sometimes it's hard for me to balance my school after school activities and my uh, work but I have to find a way just to find like little moments that I have to myself. Just like little opportunities like I have pets at home so sometimes I just take like 30 minutes when I get home and I play with my cats or sometimes what I do is while I'm doing my homework I'll put on a face mask or I'll like go and I'll take a bath or shower beforehand it's just so I have like my mind refreshed and ready to go so that as soon as I'm off the stress of work, I come home, I kind of get in my comfortable mode and then I dive into the work because at least I get it. Like those small moments, I get those small breaks that I can just kind of enjoy it. You need to be able to choose what you can do and what you can't do, like have a free hour, at least one, to be doing something that you really enjoy. Something that'll allow you to take a little break during school so you know you can do better in your other classes. So like it ends up benefiting you. I don't know, it can work for different people. Sometimes people need to be pushed, I guess, but you know, sometimes pushing just goes too far and you need to be able to like push yourself just just the right amount for you to be able to like go forward but not like fall flat on your face.